really really the question who do you know more who do you know more god or your pastor god or your pastor you know so many times we are in deep um terrible situations and the first person that comes to our mind is who we know most most or who we honor most in our lives i'm not mising words uh, and i'm carefully choosing my words who comes to your mind first in a terrible in a situation where you need help is who you give honor most sometimes a lot of us the first person that comes to mind the child is running temperature um you are in the middle of the night and something like that you are looking for help the first person the first thing a lot of us do is bring up our phone and start calling people or calling our pastors man when god is right there just beside you when you can talk to him matthew 28 verse 20 said lo i will be with you always till the end of the age until you know that god is right there seeing that situation and he wants you to call upon him to step in he wants hebrews chapter one hebrews chapter one i'm going to read verses one to three he said god who at sundry times and in diverse manner spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet look at verse two and in this last day spoken unto us by his son whom he had appointed the uh, he who he had appointed yes of all things by whom also he made the world who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high so a lot of us cannot even go you know three sentences without saying my pastor said my pastor said there's nothing wrong in what your pastor said but the point is your relationship or your honor or the words of your pastor cannot deliver you when it comes to challenges the words of the pastor cannot deliver it cannot set you free from the power of darkness is only the word of god is and it is the relationship you have built over time that determines who you call upon and if you are guilty today you need to repent and begin to turn to god that god you are sorry you never knew you need to study your what your pastor can do is to guide you and make you study your word but you need to have a relationship your pastor cannot be the relationship the, the mediator between you and god only christ and is our high priest is the one that offers sacrifices for your sins he is the sacrifice is also the one offering and is also the sacrifice himself so he's done everything and always seated at the right hand of god the father making intercession for you so every time you are in situations who you need to call upon is christ your pastor your pastor is not omnipresent i'm not attacking pastor hope you get me but i want you to focus on your relationship with your god with your father jesus christ died for you no other person died for you no other person can stick closer than 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 a friend than, than, a, than that nobody can stick closer than christ you need to honor him seeing him in every situation is there he knows the bible says he's touched by the feelings of our infirmities so he knows when you are worried he knows when you are broken he knows when you are down he knows when you are hurting call upon him he knows when you need help call upon him he's right there with you i heard the story of kenneth again one day he said he saw jesus christ talking to him and like a demon came and stood in between himself and jesus and the things jesus said to him between that time and when the demon was there he did not hear and suddenly he got irritated and said i rebuke you in the mighty and the demon fell and the next thing he asked Jesus, why didn't you command the demon to when he came in between us and jesus christ told him this is a story from ken again jesus christ told him i have given you the power so the power is in your mouth just as the power is in your in, in the mouth of your pastor you need to build on a relationship. The pastor is like an under shepherd over you, who prays over you, you know, who teaches you the word of God, who guides you. The Holy Spirit uses them here or now to put you to put us through. But when it comes to situations, you need to know God for yourself. 
is the one that will speak, is the one that will stand, is the one that will command, is the one that will turn situations around on your behalf. God bless you, you're good.